to another episode of the Daily Dropout Podcast. I'm your host, Isaac Lee, also known as the Wanderer of NZ. Today's episode, we are going to talk about um, your uniqueness and your uniqueness being your strength. <sighs> Just drinking some water. Staying hydrated, team. Staying hydrated. Always a good thing. Uh, but not too hydrated, you know? Just a little bit hydrated. Anyway, um, oh, quick note as well. Today's episode supported by Safety Ring Travel Insurance. Check out the link below if you're a traveler, need that travel insurance, get on it. You're good. All right, let's go. Your uniqueness is your strength. Um, this is this is something I feel like a few people say, but it's taken me quite a while to actually kind of accept that and go with it um, instead of just trying to fight it and be like everyone else. And when I say be like everyone else, you can't really be like everyone else because everyone's unique. Everyone's different. Everyone's got their own strengths and abilities and weaknesses and insecurities and all this shit, right? So everyone is unique. Um, but figuring out a lot of the things that you are most insecure about or you most dislike about yourself are your greatest strengths. You know, when I was young, I often hated how ambitious and future thinking I was like like honestly I was I was a ridiculous child I wrote my first will like my last will and testament when I was like 10 or 12 years old that's insane I was at what 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 it doesn't make any sense right I, and, and I I didn't hate it at the time but I learned to hate the fact that I was so future thinking I just was like I want to be thinking about whatever everyone else is thinking about, right? I want to be doing what everyone's doing now. And it took me years to actually realize that that is a strength and that I can now, I'm looking so much further forward than everyone else. I'm looking much further into the future. And instead of trying to hate that ability of mine, it's actually leaning into it and actually using that to try and help people and to try and basically see what I can see what value I can bring to the world and the your uniqueness whatever that looks like because everyone's different like I say but your your unique abilities that that no one else can replicate right so for me like even an example of this right is this channel right this podcast like I have not defined a niche on here I'm just talking about the stuff that I've done the stuff that I think the stuff that just goes through my brain, right, I'm just documenting the stuff that's on the top of my head, like, I don't script any of this, it's just, I write a title, and I'm like, oh, let's just have a ramble about this, right, so, when, you know, when, when you're thinking about, you know, your uniqueness being your strength, like, think about, like, oh, what are, what are maybe some of the things about myself I don't like, or what are maybe some of the things that I feel like are different about myself, and therefore, that makes me insecure about it, like, those are your strengths, those are your best assets, like, use them, because no one else can do it like you can, and, well, like, that, that is going to be lonely, like, that is part of the, that is, that is how you become someone who is, who gets recognized for their uniqueness and their abilities, because you first have to go through that phase of loneliness, and having no one understand you, and having no one encourage you, and having people put you down, and having people tell you you're crazy, and that you can't do it, and you should just um, just do what everyone else is doing. They're wrong. They have no idea what they're talking about. They're just sad, because they gave up on their dreams, and now they want everyone else to be miserable like them. Or, maybe they're not. Maybe they're, they care for you. But the fact is, even those people, they care, but they can't see the vision that you have, they can't see the strengths that you have, and it's not up, and, and like, don't expect them to magically see it, go show them, go show them, go do it, get enough momentum, then people start believing in you, people, people, people start being quiet real quick, because they see you're doing it, and, but in order to get that respect from people, and to get that, you first have to go and be alone and sometimes it just takes you feeling like absolute absolute shit but if you keep going and pushing through and learning 
to realize that the gifts and the strengths you have, you have for a reason. <sighs> Nothing can stop you. And that anyone who's listening to this, I would encourage, like, you're, you have abilities that no one else has. And until you realize that, like, you're leaving so much on the table. So figure it out what is unique about you and capitalize on that and for me a lot of this like I often think you know I should have started this YouTube channel when I was like 14 15 when I like back in the day like when I was like pushing hard at the gym training like I mean man I did like I did a thousand pull-ups when I was 14 five hours 12 minutes 53 seconds I remember it. First time I ever had caffeine. I was I was a crazy little 14 year old. I had the first time I had caffeine. I had two scoops of pre-workout and a caffeine pill. I was talking to myself for hours. And but I, I went out and I did a thousand pull-ups. And bro, my arms could not work for like a week. I'm pretty sure I lost muscle from doing that. I definitely didn't gain any. But the fact is, I should have been documenting all that. So now I'm documenting it. Now I'm documenting it like eight years later, right? I'm coming in eight years later, realizing I should have started this ages ago. You know, I could have documented my whole journey through powerlifting. I could, but again, it's all could haves, would have, should haves, all this stuff, right? No, so now I'm doing it, right? Because I could sit around for another few years, wait and be like, oh, I should have started back then. Nah, I'm going to start now. And sure, I could have started back then. But, you know, maybe I wasn't ready for it. Maybe there's a reason that I didn't do that back then. Um, because to be fair, I was way too insecure back then and probably, you know, would have, if I, if I, you know, had a lot of, you know, blown up and been well known on social media, probably would have messed me up anyway. So, um, probably a good thing I didn't, you know, do it all back then. But essentially what I'm trying to say is recognize that your uniqueness is your strength and don't squash it down. Go and chase it. Go and chase it. Go and figure out who you are. Go and do experiences that challenge you and push you and develop you and do that until you figure out what it is that you want for you, for your life, for the people around you. And don't squash down your vision for anyone because you're only alive once, right? <laughs> everyone you know and you, everyone you know, all your friends, all the people that you know think they know all this stuff, everyone's dead in 200 years. Everyone's dead. No one's going to care. So why would you not why, why would you waste the one shot you have at life going to try and please everyone else? Go and do you. Go and figure out what it is that you want to do. Make the most of it because you're going to die. Like you're going to die anyway. No one cares. You're going to die. Like that should be all the motivation you need. Like you, you could be hit by a bus tomorrow. Like it doesn't... It, 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 you, like there's so many ways you can die and you don't know when it's going to happen so don't waste the shot you have at life trying to fit into everyone else's little worldview of how you should be but anyway that's it for today your uniqueness is your strength go out there figure what that is and go and make the most of it